In 2017, Dr. Tom Blackburn was asked to answer a question. What one word would you use to describe St. Andrews? And that was prompted by the admissions office. They had a contest or something. And so he stood up and said, here's what I think. Let me make sure I can get to it where I can see it. <laughs> We're here, not quite in the sand hills, not quite in the Piedmont, not quite in the coastal plains, and certainly not in the mountains. We're kind of all here, and we're all rooting for each other. And if I thought of all the four-letter words that went through my mind sometimes when I was here, the one that would sum it up some of that up best would be love. Dr. Tom Black, 2017. We thought about science honoring somebody who's made a contribution and who exemplifies this. And so we have a flag for someone who cares about horses, cares for horses, Teaches classes. I started making a list and it scared me. Takes students <laughs> to South Africa, mentors on a path to veterinary school, by which, uh, by the way, they thrive, not just uh, arrive, and a lot of other things. So, Dr. Kellum, if you'd come up here, I will present this to you. overwhelming um, uh, to get this recognition because all of you um, that know St. Andrews knows that it's not one person. It's a community. And I think that's what makes our school so strong. Um, what drew me to St. Andrews, I, I've been at a couple of different universities. I used to teach at the um, graduate school level at uh, veterinary schools. And what drew me to St. Andrews was their uniqueness. The fact that I can have small classes. I can expose these students to every aspect of veterinary science. Um, and, it, and it's just not veterinary science. It's chemistry. It's biology. It's, it's everything that, that we can do here on a smaller scale. So we let these students understand that there are possibilities. There are possibilities out there that some of them never even considered. And we make it happen. We make it happen. Because not just, just, not just myself, but everybody here who is a professor, um, and you guys know you were here, we work, um, we wear a lot of different types of caps, and we work to make the students our priorities. Um, and it's all about what we can do better, how we can get the students engaged, how we can make their education diverse. Okay, um, just the little bit that I do here. Um, I've had feedback from universities all across the United States saying, wow, your program, we're so impressed with what your students have accomplished in three to four years. Send us more applications. Mm -hmm. I mean, and, and to hear something like that. So it's not just my classes, it's, it's everything that we do here on a wide scale in sciences, in business, in art, and we bring it all together and we give them those experiences that make them very unique individuals so that when these graduate schools get 2,000 applications, that application from St. Andrews, from our students, is going to stand apart, um, especially with what we can offer them. You know, there is something to be said for small individual attention. 
There really is. And I know it's all about growth and getting things bigger and all that, but there's also, there is also, you know, some tranquility in knowing when you walk into a classroom that I can be one-on-one -on -one with every student in that classroom. I'll give you an example. Um, I see probably five or six students in here, and I know they're tired because yesterday we had our testicle festival <laughs> where, we did, where we did castrations. Okay, out in the field, six horses, they were there from 1 o'clock, we got home after 10 o'clock last night, okay, um, and just like I told them, even in vet schools now, you, it's very difficult to get that experience in vet schools because, you know, a lot of people don't want students working on their horses because of all the, the legal trouble you can get into with that. But, um, I've made some contacts. I know we have other professors here that have contacts with the community and within the state of North Carolina. We also go outside the state of North Carolina. As Dr. Niesel said, I, you know, a couple years ago, I just really wanted to make our students stand out and I wanted to up my game. So I, I got into some uh, veterinary dealings in South Africa, made some connections, and, you know, I'm able to take students over to South Africa and give them that experience with wildlife conservation, okay? Um, I actually have one of my senior interns next semester that's going to Italy. We're going back to Italy, and she's going to be spending a semester in Italy. I mean, those type of things that St. Andrews offers, you guys know, we are so unique in so many ways, and the education that you get here, well worth the money. Well worth the money. But anyway, I'm very happy. Um, I'm very happy with what I do. I'm thrilled with the students that we have and the success.